Wait a minute. Hang on. Let me get the hot dogs. Here, let mommy out. All right, stop it, stop it. Stop it now. food out here. Uh, Jim and I went to the uh, nurse practitioner today and uh, he was thinking pretty much the same thing I was that hey Woody uh, that he's got a fluid buildup in his abdomen and um, yeah. so he thinks that it needed to be drained so he told us that it um, we didn't need to wait uh, uh, to get scheduled and get on a list and everything. So he told us to go on over to the emergency room. So we came home. He wanted to get his uh, bandage changed by the VON, and then and then we would go. So we left here probably around 5 p.m. and then. Um, we went up there, and yes, uh, his abdomen is full of fluid. They said that it was filled up to about right here, is what the doctor said as he was matching it. And, um, hang on, guys, I'm coming. And, um, he did some blood work. His hemoglobin is okay, so he doesn't need a blood transfusion. He is pale, pale though, and hang on, baby. And uh, they don't know why, so they're doing more blood work. Here you go, baby. And um, they're going to do an ultrasound around midnight. Because uh, the doctor had to take care of some other people that had come in uh, via the ambulance and get them sewed up and stuff. Um, but uh, he was saying, I'm coming. Here, let me get this. Here, sweetie. Coming, honey. There. Anyway, um, they're going to do the ultrasound around midnight, and they wanted to wait 24 hours from him taking his uh, last Zeralto because of blood thinner, uh, risk of bleeding. So uh, they're going to do his, they're going to tap his belly tomorrow. Uh, it's called paracentesis, and uh, they're going to drain the fluid out. So, that's what they're going to do. And he told me to come home uh, and get these little guys taken care of, and I did. And he wanted me to let his fans know what was going on, and that's what I'm doing. And then I'll go back tomorrow morning. 
he has his cell phone with him, so I'm going to call and check on him here in a little bit. He was getting on the phone with his sister when I left, and um, I'm sure he'll be calling the bishop and his other friends, and I'm sure he'll be calling Don. Um, he's a little frightened because uh, this is the unknown. He's never had to have fluid drained from his belly. So, um, the physician was trying to assure him, you know, that he would numb him up and everything because uh, Jim scared that it was going to hurt really, really bad. So, um, here you go, baby. So... We're going to get him taken care of. Uh, they're going to do, uh, uh, they're going to send it off. Uh, cytology, of course. And um, do some testing on it. Because the uh, question is, why? Um, why is his body gathering up fluid like that? Uh, in that way? Uh, they have all of his diagnosis. They have all of his history of his surgery and everything. So, um, they want to figure out why, because his liver function tests are fine, so he doesn't have cirrhosis. He's not in liver failure. Um, he doesn't need a blood transfusion. Um, his hemoglobin is uh, within normal range. And, um, here you go, baby. Oops. Here you go. Hang on. I'm coming. Hello, Magic. What are you doing? Aren't you a brave little soul? Anyway, um, ten o'clock at night. Well, we'll feed what we have here. Anyway, um, I will update you all um, when I get updates. Um, so, um, he'll be home tomorrow. He should be. Um, I want cookies. All right, we're going to get cookies out. know if y'all remember last night um, we had the one little raccoon that looked like bandit but his face was a little bit flatter it wasn't as uh, didn't have the angle on the nose like bandit does and then we had the other one that had the uh, 
like the cut all the way across his face. And I was talking to Jim about that today. And um, he was he said, well, there's going to be more strangers coming uh, as it gets closer to winter. And, and we have a feeling that, you know, he said, it's, it seems like Simon is going to be like Rascal used to be. Uh, for those of you that remember Rascal, um, he's, he's going to bring every little hungry soul in the woods to Jim. Um, and you know how many strangers he's brought. He brought the two teenagers, and then he brought Chewy. And we think that he may have brought the two last night um, because they needed to eat. So, he it's just got a little kind soul, isn't he? Bless his heart. Um, if that's what he's doing, then, I mean, we got an angel in our angels. <laughs> little thing, it's precious. That's, that's him over there, right there, eating at the water, uh, drinking the water and, and dipping cookies. Hi, baby. You want a cookie? Had a lot of raccoons not. They ate every bit of that food that I had for them. So when I got home, I fed Charlotte and Connor first, and then I already had these guys' hot dogs cut in case I needed to get Laura and Don to come over. Um, but he told me to come on home. So. And to tell his fans what was going on. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm letting you all see all these precious babies. I'm coming a little bit. There you go, girl. Hey, stop that. Be nice, Scooter. Hey. Remember, y'all, y'all gonna be dinning up in around a month. Everybody's gotta be nice. You're gonna be friends. Y'all gonna stay warm. There we go. I only see one down on the ground, but I'm putting plenty down there just in case. Get y'all some dry food, some more dry food. Just Here we go. There you go. Hang on, I'm going to get you some more.
Kate's extra hungry tonight. Hmm? Are y'all extra hungry? My little minions. Everybody getting enough to eat? Yeah. level. Ah. What y'all doing? So we got the three eating right here. Four. And we got these over here. Aren't they? So everybody's eating. And then these two up here, they're getting ready to go to bed. And then they'll eat some more throughout the night. And they're salmon. He's getting big, isn't he? Look at him. Hey, Simon. Hey, little boy. You're not little anymore, are you? You big boy. I got adults up here tonight. We didn't have any adults up here last night. And look at this. will not you look how big that one is? Hey, oh my gosh, and look at this. Look at that trying to get in the, in the, <laughs> into the bucket. Oh, and the water's dirty. I'm going to have to change the water. Y'all been out here playing while I was gone, hadn't you? Yeah. I'll fix the water here in just a minute. And now I've got a pack of one, two, three, four, five eating this dry and that's just one pile. Well, I'm going to call it a night, people. A little tired. So, uh, and I've got to get these guys' water taken care of, too. So, y'all have a good evening. And we will talk to you all tomorrow. And hopefully you'll be seeing the uh, gym tomorrow night. Um... Hopefully he'll get to come home tomorrow. Okay? Thank you. And thanks for all your prayers and all your support. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.